All right, welcome everyone. My name is Paula Phillips, also known as Journal Artista, and we are live here over on Ustream.tv on Saturday night. It's 9 p.m. Eastern, and if you're watching this on YouTube, it's previously recorded. We'd love to have you join us. It's always some good fun, and as you can hear, some good laughs. And real quick item of business, if you're a YouTuber watching, yes, I am coming back with some HD you know, 20, sh 20 minute shorter tutorial videos uh, very shortly. As soon as I get a fancy new light, um, I'm going to start taping some better videos. Okay, that being said, Wednesday night. Uh, this past Wednesday, we uh, reviewed a book by Chris Cozen, and, well, which is awesome. I then had a crazy uh, fail of a, of a time doing a transfer, but hey, you know, that's what it's mixed media is all about, or art in general, right? You got to be willing to make mistakes, you know, or anything in life before you can, uh, as you're learning. Anyways, so this I wanted to show the recap. I just sprayed some Lindy Stamp Gang Moon Shadow Mist, which is a walnut ink spray. It's a walnut ink spray. It was crow's nest copper that has some mica in it. I absolutely love them. I love the walnut ink look. Um... So I just sprayed it. You'll see that it's a little bit wet, but I'll bring it up and have the auto focus so you can hopefully see. Hopefully, maybe not. It doesn't like to glare. Maybe if I tilt it this way. This is the reason why I need new lights. It is flashing out. I'm going to get some studio lights. It doesn't like it. It won't even focus at all. I don't know what you guys see. So I used, uh, yeah, I, I just did this page in a Canton Mixed Media Journal. And, uh, you know, this is kind of, I'm playing with this type of thing, right? And as you learn, right, you do, in my opinion, where my art journals are now um, is lots of this type of experimentation stuff. Or what I'm doing here, other than my daily you know, ones in my Midori, I, and I, I should barely say daily because I'm so far behind. It did focus. It's so weird that I can't, you know, I can't see, uh, hey, Joyce. I'm not sure which Joyce it. So anyways, that was what that turned out. I want to put a boat or something in the middle. I'm not sure. So tonight, if you saw the, uh, hall stream or the other stream that I did last week sometime, or was it this week? Oh my goodness, time is... Oh, let, it, let us take off the autofocus now. Excuse me for a second. We don't want to make anybody dizzy. All right. So the wonderful... My friend Mickey um, sent me some scratch art. It's by Melissa and Doug, which is interesting. They make a lot of stuff. They, like kids' puzzles when I was watching... When I was, uh, my nieces have some puzzles. Anyways, it's like foam. Sorry, my cup. I've got shadows going everywhere. It's like styrofoam that you get meat on. It's like a meat tray. A little bit thinner, maybe. Uh, you could also do the same thing with fun foam, uh, which I don't have any close to me right now. <clears throat> Hi, CB. Yeah, sorry about that. Not focus. So, I'm gonna, we're going to play with some of this today and uh, do some printing with it afterwards. What's nice about this, you know, this stuff too, I'm not sure where you can purchase it. Mickey is in the chat, so maybe maybe she can uh, share with us. It says it's, it's called Scratch Art, made by Melissa and Doug. So what I'm going to do with it this time, now, so just scratching, we're just going to scratch into it. We're going to put some paint down with a brayer. Uh, we're also going to use it with the jelly plate. But so you can scratch any design you want with it. But I thought, in my little head, that it would be awesome. Because this is, I absolutely love this stencil. This is a Patty Tolly Parish stencil from iStencils. From iStencils.com. And I'll put the link if you're watching on YouTube. So this one is the Pictographs, which is, you know, mine and a lot of people's absolute favorites. Excuse the dog barking. Obviously, I used it with the jelly plate. <clears throat> and, 
So I think, I don't know which way is right and which way is wrong, if there really is a right and wrong way. But I thought, hey, I have a cool stencil. Let's, let's carve through the stencil into this plate, in, into this styrofoam, and make like a reverse plate of the stencil. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there's lots of, Melissa and Doug is a really cool you know, for kids, a really cool company. Okay, so what I'm going to use is a, a big pen here. Hopefully you guys will be able to see it then, um, if I can find it. A red one. Oh, there's a blue one right here. So when the fun thing is, is when you have a stencil, they say, for example, these pictographs, you can do it a couple different ways. I can just scratch into it, and what you're going to get is, you know, this the opposite. Or... You know, I can, sorry, what I'm saying is I can scratch into it like it is. So I would get the kind of exact reverse of what's going on. But what I'm going to try to do is uh, trace around, trace around a couple, move it around, and try to make it a little bit different of a, of a background. So that when I use this stencil with the jelly plate, or, you know, in the future in general, then I'll have like a matching... plate yet slightly different a texture plate basically that will match but yet will be slightly different than the original awesome patty tolly parish design all right so what i'm doing is pressing hard <clears throat> what i'm doing is pressing hard into this scratch stuff. But again, you don't need to buy it if you just get a meat tray. And I originally, I think one of the first places I saw scratching into foam uh, was Tracy Bautista. Uh, but I never thought to go through a stencil. All right, so you can see that. But then now I can move the stencil, you know, make them so I can make the pictographs. This may, this may be a long uh, process here, guys. I should have done one earlier so I could have it ready. And all, like I said, all I'm doing is pressing hard. It's just a, with a pen. You don't have to use anything sharp. I don't want to press so hard. Let's check it out. So I can see it from the back. I don't know if you guys can see a little bit of shadow there. My screensaver keeps going out, in and out a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. All right. So, like I was saying, you could either do the entire design at once, or like this, and just kind of do them a random. But this stuff is thicker, or thinner, excuse me, than a meat a meat tray, in my opinion. So. Uh, I'm just worried. I don't want to push all the way through. Just, you know, I want to push hard so that it indents, but not completely the way through so that it uh, <clears throat> doesn't. And you see, I'm going to get some of these marks on here. That doesn't matter. Pen marks or paint or whatever. Because remember, I'm using this as a texture plate or a print plate, so it's going to get all messed up anyways. And as you can see, I very rarely clean my stencils. Um... Unless I, the only time I really clean the stencil, two, two, ti two times in two instances. One, if I'm using a medium like light molding paste or any such thing. Or if I need to use like white paint or something that would, you know, that paint would affect like my packing tape transfer technique. Something like that. That's looking cool. So don't forget that we want to... Yes, Anita. Eventually, this is going to make a texture plate or stamp. So still I want to remember hang a couple off the edge here. So this maybe this one will go over here. Oh, 
But what a great way to stretch your stencils too, right? Until Patty makes an awesome new one. <laughs> right? Well, then we can just make more same things anyway. We can make even more. It's endless, right? But I like that this is going to be the opposite uh, effect. We're going to get the opposite view. Okay, let's see. And I did ask, I did ask Patty if this was kosher, if, uh, you know, using a stencil, changing the design, something like that, making sure I was following all the rules and such. But, um, and she said, of course it was. <clears throat> But this is just, you know, this is for my own art and entertainment. I'm not uh, selling any stuff anyways. So we could be here all night if I tried to, uh... What the devil? Simon? Excuse me for a time. Simon? Yeah. Can you turn it down just a tiny bit, please? Oh, he's watching some war show or something. If you have any questions in the chat, my friends, please put it in all caps or a heart, which is a less than sign, and a three. Hey, Teresa. Hey, Shady. It's going to be like a rubbing plate, kind of. Uh except we're going to be using it to print like rubbing plates I think of that are like more plastic and you know I, I don't think I'd be able to use this necessarily like a plastic plate you know say if I was going to put a piece of paper over it and actually use crayons or something to make a to make a rubbing <clears throat> all right so I'm just going to keep moving them around see which which ones kind of go where? This one looks like it looks like there. Try to speed up. While I'm doing this, is there any audience questions? <laughs> Lots of times I don't take time and, and stop and answer. Um, you know, and I think some people are, if it's not on topic, right, some people don't want to add, maybe they want to ask me a question, but because it's not on topic, they hold it in. Because this, this could be a while. Now, this piece of foam stuffage, scratch board, is six inches by, looks like eight, I'm guessing. Nine, whoa, nine inches. But that doesn't mean, you know, I could... Um, yeah, a rubbing plate is has, you know, this has the debossed images, but I wouldn't be able to use anything heavy, you know, or put any pressure on the top other than paint. Like, I'm going to be used, or else I would smush it even more, if that makes sense. Like, if I was using a crayon to do real rubbings or something. All right. So think of it this way. When this is gonna this is done, I'm gonna use this in two different ways. One way as if it were a jelly plate, for example. I'm gonna we're gonna spray our paint right on top of this and pull a print right off of it from there. And then a little bit later on, after we do a couple prints like that, we're going to, you know, put it on the jelly plate to get some uh to remove plate. You know, we'll put paint on the jelly plate and then we'll remove some when we use the this this etching plate etched plate <clears throat> we'll remove some paint off the jelly plate and get some texture all right let's see this guy sorry this is a takes longer than um than i expected I guess it depends on what design you choose. But 
but I do want to do the whole plate, um, like I said, so I can put paint on it and use it as a, a mono printing tool, mono printing plate in itself. And you can mix up. Well, you know what? While we're at it, let's. We got pictographs, but let's. Uh, Let's mix her up. That doesn't mean that it doesn't nothing saying doesn't say that we have to use the same look maybe on some of them, for example, what if I just outlined? I don't know if you can probably barely see that. Um uh, maybe I'll just outline some of these arrows. This is also a, a Patty Tully Parish stencil from I stencil. So some I'll outline only and some I'll fill in. You will get a different look from that. I think this one I'll fill in. It definitely goes much quicker when you have a uh, bigger, bigger images like this. This time, I'm not going to move the stencil. I like, I like Patty's design. See there, I went into it. That's okay. It will just mean well. Oh, this is so much faster. Look at this. Woohoo! <laughs> now we're speeding. Hi, Judy. Hopefully I said hello to everybody. Hi, Linda. I mean, Linda. I don't see any caps, so I'm assuming there's no questions for me. So I'm just going to keep plowing through. I am using the Bic um, Crystal 1.6, the bowls. All right. Who's tweeting me? Now this is a good activity for me to do in front of the TV on the couch while I'm watching, you know, like curling. <clears throat> All right, so look how cool that looks. I can't wait to try a print of that. Holy smokers, Simon. I don't know if you can hear that or not. Whoever he's watching is really, really loud. Look at that. Woo! I'm excited. Sorry. <laughs> Where's Dee Dee? Ho ho! Look at <laughs> So, you know, the thing is, let's let's be honest. Stencils like stamps are an investment, right? Some of them aren't cheap. Or the good ones aren't cheap. Um oh thanks, Colleen. Can't hear the TV. Um you know, so it's always awesome when you think of, when you find other ways to use your stamps, and, or stencils, excuse me. My screensaver, I apologize. I'm going to do some arrows down here going the other way. Oh, this is exciting. It's exciting to me. I can't wait to see what happens. Let's see. Maybe I'll change it up. Maybe I'll draw lines myself like this. Can you see that? See those lines? And it's actually, like, those are pretty straight. I guess it's pretty easy to um, make an impression in this. Oh, that looks cool. <clears throat> Could you use the embossing place for the big shot of color bug? Oh, I did a, uh, maybe Carrie can help out. A few years ago when I first got the jelly plate, I actually did a video of that. Absolutely you can. Look at that. I'm getting ink all over the place. But it's okay because, you know, we're going to be putting paint on it anyways. I use Tim Holtz Texture Fades. Let me just quickly see if I can find one. Probably not quick enough. Now those, you know, the biggest thing about using them directly on the plate rather than using the, um, I can't find them anywhere close. You know, rather than using an embossed piece of paper, right, you got to throw those bad boys in water. You 
You need to throw those bad boys in water. But paint doesn't affect it. Like I said, I've got a video up on that from a few years ago. You can... Go check her out. But absolutely. Especially if you're not afraid of a mess. Some people uh, get a little worked up when I say put paint on an embossing, you know, an embossing folder. But it's just plastic, people. It's plastic. It's no different than putting paint on this. Except maybe it was a little bit more expensive. So this is called Scratchboard Ange, but it's, you know, you can use a meat tray if you want. It's just like that. It's like a little styrofoam, just like a meat tray. I think I need to put one arrow up here somewhere. I love how all these arrows are different sizes, so it's easy to... Well, it's not just easy to, you know, match up and make a new pattern here, but it's different, right? Last times you see arrows and such that are all on the... <clears throat> that all go the same direction. I'll flip it around and go this way. Oh, this is going to be exciting. Sorry, I'm a little... <laughs> I think I need to drink... Either I've drank too much coffee or I need to drink a little bit more coffee. But what I was saying was this is an, a nice project to do on the couch. Thanks, Carrie, for putting up that YouTube link, Jelly Plates and Embossing Folders. All right, I'm going to do another one. Let's see. Oh, just we're going to we're going to use the awesome poppies one. We'll just have one peeking out. How about that? Just one perfect look, little spot here peeking out. This one's a little bit more delicate. These, um, the lines, these particular ones, they, it is a very delicate design. So if you're using, you know, like I was using my Elegant Rider a couple streams ago, uh, a couple Saturdays ago, that video is also up. You just have to be real careful because they move. You know, I'm not worried about damaging the stencil, but what I'm worried about is, um, what I kind of worry about is sometimes these move. So I try to use my finger to hold it down or be kind of light the first time, right? If I, if I outline it the first time very lightly as to not move that little piece, then I can go heavier later. So same thing. Oh, see, I just did it there. It's just a very fine design. Which is awesome. You just got just got to take a little bit extra care. That's all. Hey, does this stencil come in a, in the eight by uh, in the six by six size too? This is the eight by ten poppy size. It's delicate like Patty. The stencil's delicate like Patty. Patty made some awesome shirts last night. The one that, again, I always say that, right? We are our own worst critics. So the one that she disliked the most, I liked the best last night. So she was doing some stenciling with her jelly plate on t-shirts, and it was awesome. All right. Oh, look, this guy's going to just wrap it. I can wrap him right around there. So I'm almost done, guys. Bear with me. Last little flower here. Windows updated today, and for some reason, my screen save, my screen goes black every five minutes, it seems like. I don't know if it's because Windows updated or what, but it wasn't doing this before it updated. All right. Almost done. And then, then we get to see what the fun, what the fun is. The fun stuff. Ooh, I just had another good idea with this. Look at my hand. So using a ballpoint pen. See, I'm mostly using a ballpoint pen, especially in black, so you guys can see it on stream. But you can, you can just use the, you know, a stylus or the end, the other side or you know, a chopstick or something, maybe. You don't have to use something that, that 
you know, leaves a mark, shall we say. Yeah, I'm not going to, I need to do that Eileen afterwards. I'm not going to do it right now. It's not recorded, Patty? Sorry, just a uh, quick look at it. <clears throat> Green chat for a second. I'm sure she recorded. Oh, now my PC has been unprotected for 38 days. No thanks. No, I do not want to. All right. I don't know what, what happened with the update. And it was a long one, and it did it automatically. Shut my computer down right when I was watching Gene. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. I didn't want to do... Well, that's okay. I'm going to overlap. I'm going to overlap some of those arrows. That's fine. I'll just... Didn't want to do that, but... That's what happens when I try to do... A couple of things all at once. All right, almost done. Couple more stuff. Oh no! So it could move because of hence <laughs> such things. All right. Now, which one was I using? Oh no! Oh, there we go. Was it this one? Was it this one? No. Is it that? No. Now I'm going to match up which one it was I was using. It's like a puzzle. No. It has to be this one, wasn't it? Was I using the other side of the... Oh my goodness. Now I'm all messed up, my friends. All messed up. They're all, these are all slightly different. And I was, which one was I tracing? Oh, it had to have been. This one? Aha. I think it was this one. <laughs> oh, boy. You know what? I saw that, uh, Patty on, um, Jet pens just today. It was a glove that only had, it was some type of glove that only did this, only on that side. Yeah, it was on jet pens. I didn't buy anything from jet pens, but I was looking. All right. I forget what it was called. But it was to protect your hand anyways. Okay. Now, last but not least, I think I need another arrow or something down here, eh? I think, I think. See what I mean? How is it possible to have already lost that arrow stencil? Like, how is it? It's because it's clear. Okay. I'll find it in a second, I'm sure, when I'm not looking for it. <laughs> Make it. Drink some coffee, Paula. Drink some coffee. <laughs> I had to look under there just in case. All right, shuffling, shuffling. That is strange. Oh, here it is. That's because I put it in the middle of all these other stencils. I'm not sure why. Okay, so I'm just going to put a couple of arrows down here hanging off the edge, and we will be ready to print. And maybe right here, and we'll be good to go. I think they they sprout feet. That's that's for sure. Okay, there we go. I got a print. I got a plate. 
I'm, gonna, I'm a little messy for it, but we're done. I'm going to get a baby wipe here. And I'm sure you can wipe some of this off, too. wipe off all my hand prints not that any of it matters all right there we go again screen saver okay so I want to make sure my plate is dry I think I call it a plate but I'm saying this stuff guys is really thin what I'm saying it's thin I mean, it is super, super thin, um, like unmeasurable, like almost like a hundred, maybe a little thicker than a hundred twenty pound cardstock, a hundred ten pound cardstock. Okay, I'm gonna find some paper, and we are gonna play. So I'm just gonna use. Speaking of a hundred ten pound cardstock, I just have a piece of white beside me here, and I have a couple of. Um, some PBO Studio acrylics, these are iridescent colors, and some Liquitex Basics around me, and uh, that's what I'm going to use. This is the first one I chose, so I'll use that. Okay, oh, but I still, I, should I, hmm, no, we don't have a jelly, I'm just going to pretend I don't have a jelly plate at this point, and, oh, maybe I'll do it over here. With my ruler. Okay, so I'm gonna yes, I'm gonna try to put the paint on gingerly. So Liquitex Basics, I got a real dirty brayer, but it's dry, so it shouldn't be too bad. It's black. Okay, so I'm just gonna this is a non-stick craft mat. I'm gonna ink this or paint it up a little bit. I've got my paper ready and waiting so yeah try to be ginger or gingerly see what happens everybody ready I'm gonna place it down I'm gonna flip it over I think and then Okay, let's see. I do have another brayer here. If I don't, as long as I don't cause another craft of it should be good. So I'm going to try to have a, a wet brayer and a dry brayer. Let's see what happens. Let's go. Woo! Cool! Ta-da! <laughs> or as do you say, ho-ho! <laughs> so how fun is that? And I think, you know, it's an imperfect print. I think it all depends on whether, you know, how you brayer it and such. Right? But just think now, real quick. When you go back and use this stencil... Um, use the original stencil. Where's a little bit of a black here? I just want to show you real quick. A little bit of black. Find a sponsor or a makeup wedge. Let's hope. That's our present. Spouncer is in water. Where is a makeup wedge? Oh, here's a different spouncer. All right. Oh, this is a crusty spouncer. I'm gonna have to cut cut it off. That one didn't make it into the water. That's for sure. I gotta give him a haircut. Well, it's, this is definitely gonna make an interesting distress uh, tool, shall we say? Let's try this. So I have this print. I just want to quickly show you how you can tie everything together with the original stencil. 
how it'll look. Obviously, I'm going to do more layers on that and such. And I'm not going to I'm not going to uh, put paint on the, the you know the entire thing. I'll leave some stuff out a little bit. All right, look how cool that is. So you can have an awesome background to incorporate, you know, to stretch the stencils, um, maybe that you love the most, you know, or incorporate into different ways. All right. And they're reusable. This isn't a one-time thing. So let's see, is there any more paint on this bad boy? Maybe not. Maybe not. Let's This time let's add a little bit of this yellow, fluorescent yellow. Studio PBO. Yellow. Orange. Javix. Excuse me. So we'll put a little bit of this orange on. Yeah, meat trees would definitely be a little bit thicker. Maybe you might not have to be as ginger with it. And like I said, I'm using a this through a stencil but this technique can be applied you know if you want to draw whatever image you want to draw on it right I just thought it would be awesome to get that extra mile out of the stencils you love all right so I just want to clean up my disaster over here a little bit off my craft mat Oh, here I'm sitting there and this is probably still wet. Let's try this again. Should be a slightly different color. Let's add, uh, let's try it on a piece of deli paper here. Because I did add a little bit of pink and a little bit, but now it might have dried, right? Because I wasn't paying attention. I don't know what you guys are talking about. Javex and bleach and stuff. But I don't see anything, so you're not talking to me. So very faint. Barely have anything off on that. Like I said, I was talking. Oh, uh oh. Alright, you gotta be careful because it's not a jelly plate. So I got a very, uh, a little cool ghost, ghost print there. But let's let's ink it up with a little bit of ink. I don't know why I keep saying ink ink. Let's paint it up with a little bit of a darker color and overlap it a little bit. Right, a little bit. I suppose you could probably put paint directly on this, but I don't want too much paint to build. Uh, oh, to clean the meat trays. Javex to clean meat trays or vinegar. Oh, yes. <clears throat> yeah, I don't want too much paint to get into the uh, debossed, embossed, embossed, debossed. I always get all those things confused. Sorry. So a little bit of jelly paper. This time I've got to be a little bit faster. Deli paper, excuse me. Hey, Tina. Styrofoam plates? Hey, I'm sure that would work too, Angela. Just a little bit of something there. It's it's not dark enough color, and I'm probably not putting up dark enough or a heavy enough um, coat of paint. Sherry in PA says they sell packages of meat trays at the dollar store. Well, I'll have to go, I'll have to look. I don't think I've ever seen. That would be awesome. Works like a, yeah, I'm going to get my jelly plate out now too. As Mickey said, it works like a stamp pad. Yeah, I just wanted to show first, Mickey, that, uh, you know, you can still do this and do some mono printing if you don't own a jelly plate or have, you know, made one yourself or whatnot. All right, need a new baby wipe here.
like I say, they're reusable. You know, I guess I suppose if you don't want too much paint buildup. Now, this is a stencil that I could stick in my art journal. <laughs> yeah, that's the other thing, Patty. This is a hard brayer. Um, I do have that the soft uh, Fiskars one here. I just wasn't using enough paint. I just wanted to show that, um, I guess I just wanted to show that it can be done. But you can easily wipe it off, for example. But this would be cool. With lots of different layers of paint, this would be cool to, like, collage in. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get, take me some Pie Tolly Parish stencils and my, cause the wonderful Mickey, thank you so much, gave me all of these, like 20 or something. I'm gonna sit in front of the couch, sit on the TV, sit in front of the couch, sit on the TV. <laughs> oh my goodness, I got that confused. I got that confused. Okay, I'm just switching stuff up for, uh, get the jelly plate out. <clears throat> I'm gonna sit on the couch in front of the TV and oh my battery's running low. Well that's bad news. It's not plugged in. That is bad. Oh no. And the cord's caught under my door. Oh my goodness. No wonder my screensaver was going off. As I would say, razzin frazzin. Sorry. Sorry. There we go. All good. Now we're good. Whew. Whew. All right. So, I've got a little bit of, uh, as I say, I put my jelly plate away used and abused. <laughs> That's what it looks like now. Um. Yeah, it was a computer noise because my uh, it was telling me my battery was dying, which is why my screensaver was going off so many times. Okay, so I want to make sure I got some paper close. Um, I got some stencils. I like to have, if I'm jelly plating, multiple uh, papers around that are in multiple stages of doneness. We did some of these a couple of streams ago. Uh, so maybe some of this may need a black layer on top, or uh, some of these are, you know, there's nothing on one side of the page and stuff on the other. <clears throat> so I'm all set. All right. Jelly plate. Brayer. Brayer. Brayer's over here. There we go. Fred Flintstone. Razen Frazen? I, I don't know if it was... I, I, I don't know. It was in the Urban Dictionary. I did see it. I don't know where it came came from. My poor Brayer. So I just want to clean it a little bit. Good thing Brayers are not expensive. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. So I got my plate, got my jelly plate, and, or my scratch board, I should say. Let us find a color. What color should I start with? So I, I did buy, like I said, some studio um, acrylics from PBO. And these are the iridescent colors. So let's just, let's see what happens with some iridescent green. So I'm going to be doing a couple of things here. I'm going to be using this as like the jelly plate as a stamp pad, right? I'm going to use this to, you'll see, I'm going to stamp off on something else. But I'm also building up layers to pull jelly plate um, prints as well. Yeah, the movie A Christmas Story, one of my favorites. Not sure that's enough. Sometimes at this first layer, I don't put enough paint on, uh, and then I don't get you know. 
I don't get a good, uh, not print from the plate, but an off stamp, right? When I put this texture on. For example, I could probably brayer off some of it on here rather than brayering in my <clears throat> my other journal over here. Anyway, here's that. Let's get my plate. See, I could, if I had a bigger jelly plate, I definitely wouldn't have enough room for any of this. Okay, so I'm going to press it into my plate here. I'm going to lift it off so you can see some of that texture. I'm going to brayer. This is my dry brayer, or the brayer that doesn't have any paint on it, shall we say. Woo! Woo! All right. Do that again over here. Let's see if it'll show anything if I do it on this. I'm probably not working fast enough. Hi, Vicky. The PBOs are transparent. Oh, yeah, I can barely see any of it on there. Maybe a little touch. I definitely need a bigger working space. Oh, boy, God, that's my painted brayer. There's the dry brayer. And on black. Yeah, hopefully my cleanup print, Jean. That cleanup print's gonna be a black on um, black. So that's cool. This was a Tim Holtz Distress spray background. A little bit of something there. Okay. Let's find a stencil. I'm just going to take a quick pull through it. I'm not sure. Let's see. Like I said, not sure if I'm going to see anything on it like this. But uh, I want to remove even more of the paint before I... Sorry, guys. See? Yeah, it's very translucent paint, that's for sure. But that's pretty. That'll be nice. Remove my stencil here. <clears throat> All right. Oh, if I was smart, I would have had black paper. Didn't I talk about this last week, too? I didn't write myself a note. I need to write myself a note. I'm also trying to find, I, st I started the show, before I started the show, I got out all new, and I'm waiting way too long. I got out a whole bunch of paper, and, you know, where do you think that, where do you think that is? So I just want to get, you know, a first layer of something here. Very translucent. Uh-oh, somebody's messaging me now. That's okay, I have to go and get some more paper. Alright, sorry about that. Okay, so I'm letting this dry a little bit because I am going to pull a black print here. Sorry, does somebody have a question for me? Oh, Carrie just sent me a note. Black paper. <laughs> All right. Let's pull up. Oh, look at this deli of stuff I got going on here. But we're going to add some black to this. So this, although I'm worried because this uh, paint definitely seems to stay wet longer. Seems to stay a little bit wet longer, so we'll have to we'll have to see. Okay, so I'm gonna put some black paint. This is not PBO. This is just some stuff from the Dollarama. If you happen to be in Canada, just a black cheap paint here. So I I pretty much want you know almost dry, right? I want that paint almost dry.
I'm going to put down and hopefully get a really cool cleanup print. Okay, so I've got lots. While I've got that, I know, I'm, I'm bad. I'm very, very bad. Where did my plate go? I should be quicker. But I want to get the extra. So if I'm getting the extra paint off the brayer anyways, I might as well do it on this plate and see if I can get something fun. And in the meantime, I should put a piece of paper on this before somebody yells at me through the screen saying, what the heck am I doing? All right. Now I can rub at the same time. So I got a little bit of a ghost there. A little bit of something. So you definitely, when you're when you're taking your ghost print, you definitely want to make sure you're rubbing real well, right? Because not only am I pulling up the black, I'm pulling up that green, you know, that first layer of paint from underneath it. So we can peel it off, test the corner. We'll see what happens. Everybody ready? As Didi would say, wait for it, wait for it. <laughs> All right. Got some crusty bits left on the plate. Okay, well, let's see. So like I said, it almost looks gold now, that green as you can see what's left now let's see um you can barely see the original plate ever, ever a little bit here and there and i think that's because i don't know maybe i had too much paint and it didn't it didn't take it off looks like gold Looks like one of your patina prints, Patty. Oh, thanks. Yeah, I, I love it. I love these type of prints. I think this will be awesome. Like I said, cut and made into a little book here. But what concerns me is that I can't see anything from that plate. I can't see enough texture. So we shall do... Maybe I didn't press hard enough. So, of course, we are going to do it again. All right. The one one thing I I'm gonna take a sip of a sip of coffee here. One thing I have to caution you about the jelly plate is you really need to carve out two things: a whole bunch of time and a whole bunch of space. Because <laughs> you're gonna get addicted. You're gonna just keep pulling prints, and it makes a lot of papers. You'll have papers everywhere. So be prepared with, for that. All right, sip of coffee. This time let's try two different colors. Let's try the green, or sorry, this is blue, iridescent blue green, PBO ones. <clears throat> and then I'll put a different color on there. Maybe I'll, uh, we'll mix her up with some iridescent blue black. Only a tiny, tiny bit of that bad boy. All right. Let us try again. Try, try again. Got my plate. Okay, we're good. Oh, and I didn't wipe. I didn't wipe the black off my brayer, so hopefully it won't be too bad. That's the thing, guys. Whether you you know mono printing. <clears throat> I mean, that's what they call it, mono, right? You only get it one. You only get you know one or two prints and you can never do the exact same thing all over again so it's definitely a lesson in impermanence and uh you know you just gotta let it go and play all right so i have a little bit this time i'm gonna press harder i'm gonna have to press i want to press into the plate harder to remove more paint with my little plate here 
and this time see I see it I mean you can see it on camera right Ooh, a little bit of something there hi bunny I was talking chatting before the show about whether I should buy a bigger jelly plate and then cut this one down uh, like some of my friends have done but uh, but thinking about buying the bigger one man like I, I would if I had the bigger one I wouldn't be able to do this what I'm doing right now I would need a whole other table Ooh, that's pretty those two colors that's pretty Okay. Now, maybe, see, I don't want to lose that extra little, little texture. Now, if I had a dark paper, I think it would be nice. You'd be able to pick it up real nicely and be able to see that texture. But, of course, I don't have anything dark close to me because I wasn't that well prepared. Um... I thought I had everything ready, but I did not. Let's see, I'll pull it on here and see what happens. It should be the reverse of this particular print. This one's 8 by 10. Wow, so you can see that first time. Okay, so this is what you get if you use the jelly plate to get the reverse, right? This is 8 by 10. Yeah, the bigger one is 12 by 14. So when you use it with the jelly plate, uh, jelly plate, you get the reverse. That looks cool. I like how you can see my pen lines. See the pen lines in them? Just, you know, or this, I mean, this pen line was in, intentional to make those lines. But I like how you can see you know, all my strokes from the big pen there. But these are the two different looks, whether you use it with a jelly plate or without the jelly plate. And then, like I said, imagine now all these awesome, all your other awesome designs on top. Like the poppy stencil. Maybe we'll have to do that. The poppy stencil in black on this. It's, it's cool. That is cool. And this is, a, like I said, that dye in a PBO paints. It's uh, iridescent. Okay, so we're going to pull some black and try her again on this one. Jean's going to use all of her jelly plates on Monday's stream. Sounds like a plan. All right, a little bit of black paint, <clears throat> but you don't don't want to give up, right? You have to keep trying with your jelly plate or mono printing, you know, because really it's all about the amount of paint and time, and you know there is a little learning curve, and we're all still learning. Or I let me rephrase that, I'm definitely still learning, that's for sure. All right, a little bit of extra. Don't want to lose you waste the extra black paint. This is actually a cool way because instead of just brayering off in my brayer, I can, you know, print something else over here. Which I think is cool too. All right, taking, so this is the side that we printed before. Now we're gonna print it on this side. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Mickey's tracing stencils as we speak. Good night, Anita. All right, everybody, I'm I'm pressing two things at the same time. Maybe if I brayer this one a little bit. This is my soft brayer, guys. This one is a Fisker's brayer. Let's check it out. Maybe wait a little bit on that one. We'll pull this off. I'm multitasking over here. Oh, that, so that's starting to get a hot mess because there's too many, too many things over too many things. That's just a little bit of nothing there. 
too many things over too many things. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> I can't even do it unnaturally, Dee Dee. I can't. So that's much better. We can definitely see where on this. Now you can see more. The, uh, What should we call it? The texture from that plate. Fun, eh? So that's that's with some black. Well, let's let's uh let's get bust out some more funky colors, eh? We need to add some pinks. So I think, for example, this particular page, this needs some stencilage on top, right? This needs like the original. We've got so much in the background. We need some you know, positive impressions. Is that the right word? Negative. You know what I mean. It needs some design on the top. <laughs> know what I mean, Vern? Hey, Paige. I don't know what you guys are talking about. Somebody went in the corner, so that's bad news. Hopefully everybody's behaving. This is the, uh, you don't want me to get on my soapbox about not behaving in my channel. Don't make me do it. <laughs> Vern? Sorry, I, I touched my brain. There's black everywhere, so I have to just quickly clean up here. Before we go on, before I, if I, right now, I mean, it would have been cool. I, you could easily brayer in, um, what does Patty say? I missed it. Oh, this is like purple. So this is also an iridescent color. What is it called? Uh, violet blue, but it looks like pink. But as I, as I roll it down, it's looking pinkish violet. I'm going to add a little bit of uh, this. Um, wow, this stuff one's smelly. Brilliant purple. Wow. This one particularly has a strong odor. The other ones didn't seem to have an odor. Oh, I'm going to bray this off of my book instead this time. <clears throat> Let us find a piece of paper, because, you know, I don't have enough around me. I need to find my plate. And this is all just with one plate. Imagine all the mixing and matching you could do, and all the fun... Boy, I mean, literally the opportunities are endless, right? So this time, say, okay, here I just, I did the, um, I used the plate. And maybe on that other little part, let's find, let's use the stencil. Let's use the, uh, I put my stencil on some deli paper here. And it's stuck a little bit. Okay, so maybe over here I'm going to place, like this maybe, and then I'll pull a print. That's what that looks like. I'll show it close up in a second. Just hold on guys, I just need a piece of paper so I can pull this one. So this is just a couple of things. Then I can pull that off. Uh, 
And then this time, see how much paint I got going on? That's, uh, now, and I've got spots over here that don't have any paint. That's what I want to, um... Hi, Vicky. Good to see you. This is a Jelly Arts, uh, plate. So I want it to dry a little bit, so I'll put some black on there so I can have some extra contrast. I mean, you could also pull it in white. I could pull it, this one in white, uh, and, uh... Try it at the same time. Night, Jamie. But right now, you know, I don't want to mix the colors. Well, maybe I can pull a little bit off. I just have some random, random deli paper over here. Take a little bit off. Oh, while I'm waiting for that to dry a tiny bit. So this strip down the middle is where, you know, because I was having, I had two different colors of the purple. How is my plate holding up? Let's inspect it, shall we? It's uh, It's got a lot of paint on it already, but I don't think it should matter. It's actually looking pretty cool. So, <clears throat> I know you just, so for those of you just joined us, what we did at the beginning of this stream is we created a plate out of scratch board using some stencils from Patty Tully Parish at iStencils.com. And uh, so originally, you know, it was these stencils plus the pictograph one, which has ran away from me for a second. Where did it go? When I used it, here we go again. See what happens when you have jelly plate, jelly prints. I've got stencils and prints all over the place over here. Now I probably put it over. Of course, I put it in a safe spot to my right so that I would remember where it was. <laughs> Night, Pam. So this is what we started with, guys. Vicky and anybody else coming in. These are the stencils that we made this plate out of. Night one. Sorry, my quick thing here. All right, so I'm excited. So this is almost dry now. The thing is, is that sometimes if you rush too much to put your pickup color, if that's what you want to call it, my black, then, you know, uh, I find I don't get as good of, as good as of a uh, cleanup. But maybe that's because it depends on how much paint I used or whatnot. All right, so a little bit of black. Ooh, you know what I'll do this time? See if it makes any difference. Do you think that if I if I impressed this my plate into some of this black before doing the pull-up, the clean-up print, what do you think will happen? Anything? Maybe you'll see. Oh, my goodness, I just rolled some piece of paper onto that. And I think that when you make these cleanup prints, when I first started, my biggest problem was putting, using too much paint. Yeah, try it and see, eh, Jean? Can't hurt, eh? Although I, I should be faster than this. Let's see, let's put some on there maybe. So this stuff is called scratch board, but like I said, you could try to use, uh, you can use meat trays. <clears throat> All right, I'll just do it in a couple places and see if we get any, uh, looks like wood cuts. Yeah, only lightly, Jean. Jean made a good point. She said, "If you take the black away, then it won't make it won't do the pickup properly. So you gotta be careful." All right, let's try her. See what happens. Oh, 
I just used a big pen to, to carve into that plate through the stencils. And I like, like I said, uh, it is so cool how, I like how I mixed up some of those stencils. I used multiple uh, of Patty's designs to make the plate. Ooh, you know what I'll do, Patty? I think I'm going to mix some of Patty's cool designs with some of Julie Faye and Balzer's cool designs, and it'll be like some of my favorite artists on one plate. <laughs> all right. Oh, here I'm not even wait for it. I'm just holding it like this. You guys are all waiting to see. <laughs> Ooh, look how cool it was where I took it off, where that white. Okay, hold on. see I don't know if my white's glaring there but so where I took off the extra paint there little pops of white over here I still have some let's see that gold that's some crusty bits from a few times ago yeah that's cool some more crusty bits up there and see it leaves a bunch of more crusty bits on the on the plate but I like that I'll build them up and then like what Carrie does, she uses some white paint to pull up. That is, that, I'm, I'm, that's cool. I'm going to do some layers and use some white. So let's, let's switch gears and go, try go into a little bit more. Uh, I'm going to put that one off to the side here. <clears throat> go into a little bit more brighter colors. I want to, I want those crusty bits to dry a little bit. Okay. So I'm going to go into some pink here. This is Liquitex Basics, because I thought this was pink, but it's not. It's violet blue. So Liquitex Basics Medium Magenta. <laughs> Cheryl, Cheryl says you keep saying crusty bits, and now, you're, I, now she wants toast. So all these prints, guys, I'm just making with one plate. Imagine, imagine how much fun we could have if, if there was, if we had more than one plate. Because I definitely have more than one, a stencil. <laughs> Alright, just want to wipe the black off my brayer here. So that I don't transfer too much of this pink around. And for those of you just want, you know, started new with the jelly plate, I'm using all these studio, uh, student based student grade acrylic paints but you can just as easily use craft paint and I do quite frequently it's just these are the ones colors I chose today so when you see something like that that obviously means I'm not using quite enough paint maybe I'll add some yellow to it that's what it's waiting for for example I'll use the cheapest deco art dollar store craft paint that I own Add a little yellow. You just gotta be careful when you're mixing colors like this. Uh, let's see if I get a little bit of a something. So that it doesn't become, sometimes it can become mud, right? If you mix it too much onto your jelly plate. Patty, that... Patty says it's time for some Caribbean coconut talenti gelato. I was going to say that sounds like a drink. And then for a second I thought you were talking about gelatos, the actual art supply. But now I think you're actually eating some type of ice cream. <laughs> I figured it out. Okay. Another piece of paper. I'm chatting too long. I've got some major drippage down the side of my plate. All right, let's take off some. And I think, ooh, that was a good one. Maybe if you tried with thicker, like fun foam maybe, or a thicker styrofoam, then, oh, that's pretty. Maybe you would get a slightly different image. I don't know.
But these, I mean, these prints just lead themselves so nicely to just, you know, stencil over a top. How quick of a card. I know there's some card makers in my group. Um, think about, okay, I just had this particular sheet, right? How quickly would it be to cut down one of these, right? Or stencil some black first, same, you know, this maybe the same pictograph stencil or the poppies. Put it in black, stencil it in black, cut it down to four, four by six, whatever size your card is. Put on a sentiment and you're good to go. All right, so I got some of that goodness there. Let's take a little bit off maybe. I'm going to take it off onto, these are, this is again one of those business card sheets, which I saw that they sold at Dollarama. Um... Just try to make some little art cars to send out. So I took off a little bit of that pink there. But I want to, most of this to dry a little bit because I'm I've got some crusty bits underneath, right? And I've got this texture, and I'm gonna I'm gonna take it off with some white here in a second. How many cars does one have to make before they are card maker? Well, I don't know. To be honest, I haven't made a card in years. But I swear, it's been a long time. But they're nice to receive, so I need to start making. Okay, so to get a nice clean up print, like I said, I, I need this to be somewhat dry. And I'm going to transfer all this paint, plus some crusty bits. So maybe, let's hope that it works. Let's hope it works. Maybe some of those crusty bits won't come up. I think that when some people, when they say they're a card maker, it's like they're saying that's all they do. You know what I mean? You know what I mean, Vern? Oh, I don't do this type of art or that type of art. I'm a card maker. I always say I'm a paper artist, you know? I like to dabble in all of all things paper arts. <clears throat> Let's see. Well, I got this print here. I just want to... Uh, I'm going to add a little bit of pink there. But I do want to clean up some of, not clean up some of the right word. I do want to pick up a little, some of these areas that have some pretty thick, wet paint. Mickey carved 10 peacock feathers in the foam. Awesome. All right, so a little, couple grungy bits. Vicky makes wonderful imaginary cards <laughs> that she sells, she sends telepathically. <laughs> yeah, an artist who loves paper. That's it. That's it. Is it who needs to be labeled? I'm a paper artist. Whether you work, we're all doing the same things mo mostly. Right? Same techniques, lots of the same products, or lots of the same techniques and lots of the same products. It's just whether I'm doing it on a, on a little card, or I'm doing it in a bigger art journal, or some of us are doing them on canvases. Know what I mean, Vern? All right. White. Oh, I was going to do white, white, white. So I just got some Apple Barrel craft paint. Hey, Miko. Yeah, or cards, exactly. A card is just a different size than a tag. I mean, Tim Holtz did cards before he did tags, right? <laughs> Maybe not. Pretty sure. The substrate may be different, but we're all... All right. So, sorry, I still got some pink. That'd be quick here. I still got a little too much paint, paint on my brayer here. Sorry about that. So instead of black, I'm going to clean it up with white. Four sides? What are you guys talking about? No, there are four sides. Four sides to what? Maybe nobody. 
what he's talking about. All right, a little bit of white. I always like to, you know, it's easier to put on paint than take it off. So you just don't you want a thin enough coat that's gonna that'll be able to pull up all that goodness. But you don't want to be too thick, or else it doesn't really pick it up very well. Let's see, where's my plate here? Clean my brayer off on the plate a little bit. Oh, already some crusty bits. Let's see, add a little bit of white here, see what happens. Ooh, more white. But because these are so easy to make, you know what I mean? You don't have, you can just be, you can be rough with it. You don't have to be so gentle. All right, should we use a piece of deli paper to clean this off, maybe? Use a piece of deli paper. All right. Oh, cards have four sides. <laughs> Too exhausting to make. So I just want to really make sure that you rub it well enough so that we can remove that paint. And that's easy, very easy to see when you're using deli paper. So deli paper, I did a stream a while back that had deli paper versus parchment paper because it is different. Here we go. Everybody ready? Wait for it. R Okay, I'll show you the brand of deli paper. It, it is a little bit giggly. Oh, woo! Where's a, a hole? <laughs> Look at all the grudgy bits. Hold on, let me put this on a piece of paper so that it flattens out here. Oh my goodness. Look at this. I should have done that on a white piece of paper. Look at that goodness. Look at these grungy bits. Oh, <laughs> I can't do it. I really can't do it. Uh, inorganic. Okay. See, I'm trying to hold it steady. So you see over here, ooh, ooh, you see where we've used, we got the plate action going. And you see a little bit of yellow. It's just a faint in the background. You can see some of those pictographs. And then, like I said, you know, stamping on top. Oh, this needs some, like, red. Even these grungy bits over here have some gold left in them. Look. See, it's even got some gold left in it. That one I like. Look at that bad boy. Woohoo! All right, so that was fun. It's just as fun with white as it, you know. So here we got the same similar technique with the clean-off prints, but we got white versus um, white versus black over there on the paper. Still got a whole bunch of crusty bits here. I love that, and I got more paper. So how many? How long? It's only been an hour and twenty-two minutes. <laughs> that reminds me of stuff hello lover <laughs> i think she was talking about my print <laughs> my pull <laughs> oh that's funny oh thanks elizabeth let us see if we can recreate that although when i when i say recreate it's loose loosely right because um you know, it's a mono print, so you're only going to get something like that once every once in a while. Well, let's try some blues. We haven't used a lot of blues tonight, eh? Um, blues, and then we'll pull with white. Shall we? 
Blue and yellow will make a green. Oh yes, rain the deli paper. Okay, so my wonderful friend Janet sent me this. Excuse me, Jane, not Janet. <clears throat> Janet also sent me some, but it's a little bit different. But this is the box that Jane got, and I can't. I don't know if it's uh from. Hi, Lucia. It's either Costco or Sam's Club in the U.S. And I didn't make it up. I can't make this stuff up, guys. Who names their company that? <laughs> so, <laughs> but there are 500 sheets in this. And it's called Interfolded Dry Waxed Paper. Dry Waxed Paper. And bite my tongue. I don't know, Jean. Uh, more than that. More than that. Just busy, I hope. Okay. So this time I'm going to bust out some blue. This is Liquitex Basics. Uh, light blue permanent. I think I'll do a little bit of yellow, see what happens. I know it's going to, obviously, what see what happens. I mean, it's going to be partly green. <laughs> so it's going to be green. All right, just got to make sure I got some papers and my plate ready, because, you know, you kind of have to be prepared. All right, I'm going to do it on the back of that one, I think. Yeah, obviously, blue and yellow make green. I'm trying not to trying not to uh, mix them too much. Right. Add this one here, maybe. Sam's oh, Paige says the Sam's Deli paper is not that bland. Okay, so let's do more again. So again, I'm pushing hard. I want to push hard on this to see what happens when it's on the jelly plate. See if it removes more paint, for example. Well, that removed a lot of paint. Harder than I have been, shall we say. I have been pressing. That's cool. I'm definitely going to have a whole bunch of papers like this. <laughs> That's for sure. Exactly, exactly, Patty. <laughs> oh, boy. Lucia got her first jelly page. She hasn't opened it yet. I need to learn how to use it so I can get some of that goodness. Well, we have, you know, Lucy, I don't know if you've watched some of my past recordings, but we've been working with the jelly plate a couple of, uh, gosh, a couple of shows the past few weeks. Have we used it the last three stencil Saturdays? No, because one of them we did use the Elegant Writer. <clears throat> but at lots of it's practice, and you just have to, you know, you can follow step by step with what I'm doing. Try her out. All right, so like, like I said, I got a little bit of something there. Let's see. For example, we can go back to this sheet, and I can just pick it up where there was lots of paint. See, just get a little bit. Look at that. Shebang from wax paper microwave. And it's like deli paper here in Canada. Oh, really? Where? I love that. I, anyways, I love this. I love that little bit of yellow. Let's do it over here. Ooh. Ah. Oh, yeah. Lucia, this is just, this is 110 pound cardstock. But, I mean, I print on just printer paper. I, I don't know. I'll have one close to me here, necessarily. Or one of my favorite things 
is to do it on uh, I don't have any just you know lined paper you know what I mean like book paper binder paper Staples has some pastel colored binder paper that I really love uh, to you to deli plate on so you can use any paper you can use newspaper book paper copy paper anything oh I just love how that bad boy is layering up look at that junk mail exactly Linda anything Oh, <laughs> okay, you guys are too good. I love it. Oh, I can't wait to do a white print on this one. See what happens. Okay. You got it at Dollarama? I'm going to have to go back and look again, because I got some parchment paper at Dollarama, and that was no good. I mean, it, it wasn't too bad, like... I mean, I did a whole stream comparing um, when I when uh, Jane and Janet first gave me some deli paper to compare it to parchment. Um, but really, you can use any paper you want. But the parchment I bought, oh no, I think I bought it no name. But I've seen parchment paper at Dollarama. I have to go back. I already forgotten why I need to go back to Dollarama. But there was something that I needed to get there. Darn it. Okay, here we go. I'm getting another piece of paper in the ready. I'm going to a stream. Yeah, Shebang. I keep calling you Shebang, and I know your name is Sharon. Thanks, Jane, for reminding me. Apologize. Sometimes you guys have to tell me your name, usually twice, and I'll remember. But I appreciate it. Is there any, uh, so we got a couple of uh, newbies in the chat tonight. I, uh, we have a pretty good crowd here. I really appreciate everybody coming. Hopefully tonight, um, you know, Wednesday was a little struggle for me, as you can tell. But tonight, tonight was a success, I think, or is. So far, so good tonight. <laughs> so like I said, always have a little bit more white. But like I always say, guys, I'm the type of artist that will show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. And, you know... Showing how, uh, you know, I'm not afraid to show you trying, testing things and all, all that type of goodness. And I hope that, you know, you can learn from my mistakes as well. Or like how I like to say, I like to say uh, my how not to streams. Okay, so this one. So that's the thing with deli prints, right? You gotta remember, you're constantly, well, that didn't come off. You're working, or I like to work. See, there was no white. Not enough. Not enough on there. All right. Stop talking. Start doing. Yeah, so hopefully, through my mistakes, through my how not to shows, <laughs> I, oh, yes, Jean. Thanks, Jean. Oh, I need to write that down right now. I need to buy a 4x. Jean had an awesome. Jean is music scrap. Scrap without the A over here on YouTube. Uh, Ustream, excuse me. And uh, she put her Peerless Watercolors in a photo album, which I'm going to do as well. But when you do that, she told, you know, she says that you have to cut off a piece of the Peerless. Uh, anyway, so what I want is to get a cheap 4x6 photo album what Jean suggested and put some smaller some smaller um, darn it I'm doing too many things at once the cutoff strips from the peerless into a 4x6 smaller album photo album so that I could have it for my art at the couch whoo clear as mud All oh, right. You know what I mean, Vern? So clean off prints. You know, if you're just doing normal prints in your jelly plate, you don't have to. You don't have to keep rubbing and rubbing and whatever. It's it's the clean off prints that you really want to make sure because I want to get all those what you know I like to call sorry for the shadows crusty bits. 
Oh, some crusty bits are left over. Ooh, hold on. Crusty bits. Ooh, wow, that's soft. This reminds me, I mean, we've got some crusty black bits there, which is awesome. So you can see, you see where the stencil is? And over here, I see some wrinklage from that deli paper. Where the deli paper didn't pick it up. I, and I've got purple, we've got some gold over here. Oh, that's fun. It's very Easter, easterly colors. Easterly. Oh my goodness. Easterly is not a word. So I also have this. We still have some more. Um, crusty bits. So I think this time, maybe I'll take a clean off print. Let's see. Let's see what happens if I use black right now. <clears throat> All right. I got a little bit of See if I can get some of these white area, white edges to come up. Oh no. Darn it. I just reached for whatever brayer was beside me and I picked the wrong one. I keep saying I don't want to use this Fiskars brayer with paint. And guess what? I keep using it with paint and riser frazzing. I'm really going to have to wipe that bad boy. Good. Okay, so I'm going to take a little bit off. Let's see. Take, press hard in some spots. And transfer. So, like I said, lots of lots of jelly printing. Oh, see, that was too much. I shouldn't have put the whole thing. Not that it looks bad, don't get me wrong. But I loved how the background was. So it, I, wa I should have moved it over so I could see more of the cool background. Not that it's bad. Don't get, don't freak out. It's not a hot mess. I just mean that I wish, wish I only did a smaller spot is all I'm saying. Oh, I just love this. I could do this all night. I just broke it in. Yeah. Oh man. But that Fiskars one, I, I actually have reusable, removable, excuse me. It's a removable brayer. So I have two textured brayers, you know, rolls that go on it as well. But but I want to keep one, you know, good for inks, right? You know, my other brayer has a whole bunch of dried paint on it. It's not so bad. I need to get some... I need also to buy some hand sanitizer. Hand sanitizer will take it right off. Okay, here I am yapping and I'm not plating. Bad news. All right, so this is a little bit wet, so I saw Jean do this technique where you put a piece of deli paper over it. So, you know, if the paper you're, you're using to print, this print's not exactly dry. So, yeah, exactly, Jean. You try to do it, but you end up with paint on both. Now I need another one. That's are frazzing. How many brayers does one need? I can't use my squeaky one anymore because literally, oh my gosh, my squeaky one is now, oh no, my friends. It's been invaded by glass gel beads. That'll be an interesting texture. Oh no, that's going to be a hard time getting that off. That's bad news. Well, I now have a mini textured brayer. <laughs> a mini textured brayer. Oh boy, oh boy. Like I said, Wednesday, I guess I was a little too flustered and I didn't even clean up properly. All right, let's see what happens. Let's 
Well, we got some crusty bits off of it. Hmm. Well, that kind of is a hot mess. So I think that here, I, I took off too much paint here. And it does make, my dogs think it's a mouse every time I use it. But, <clears throat> yeah, so that one didn't turn out as well. But that just means that I need to put something right there. We need some red. Let's bust out some red. Uh, I'm going to stamp. We'll try to fix that. Red. So what do I got? Americana Berry Red Craft Paint. Berry, B-E-R-R-Y. This one, I need to write down too because it's only got a big paint booger in it and no other paint. And I just bought Americana paints the other day. Oh, right. Anyway. So I got this ready and waiting because I'm going to I'm gonna uh, put some this on and get my thing. You see a bird in this in spot. Oh, is this his head? Like a chicken? And then a guy with a gun shooting the chicken or what? No. <laughs> that was bad. <laughs> that was bad. Why did I say that? Sometimes you see the strangest things in the... Uh... All right. Cleaned off my brayer a little bit. Let's get some texture. I'm going to put it right over Sesame Street Big Bird. I'm putting it right over Big Bird. Oh, hot mess. But it does cover it up a little bit nicer. A little bit nicer, I must say. Uh, what else can use some red that I've got close to me? Maybe this one? I definitely need to get out the stencil, though. The pictograph stencil and do some top stamping or top stenciling on some of these. Because I'm making a lots of cool backgrounds. But again, I need a little... <clears throat> All right. Oh, this is cool. How it had some black on it and it's pulling off some red. Sorry, it's the red is pulling off as well. So a little bit of black. How fun. All right, let's pull a print here, and then maybe I'll try to uh, see what happens. Before, I've just been clean, going right to the cleanup print. Ooh! Oh! -ho! <laughs> I can't do it. It sounds so terrible when I try. That looks cool. Look how fun that is. A little bit of black, lots of the red. Now I'll take a cleanup print of this in white. Oh, that's fun. Maybe I'll take a print clean off print in Carrie's favorite color. We'll get out some turquoise. What do you guys think? Yes. So this is uh, turquoise blue from Americana. Just because I can't see my Liquitex Basics one any very close. But like I say, I, I mix all types of paints together, good, bad, or ugly. I'm using craft paint, student grade, artist grade all on the same page no matter to me all right Need a little bit more like I say it's always easier to add paint than take it away once it's on your plate well maybe I don't need any bit more wonderful news Susan all right, maybe now that's too much paint because I was looking up at the same time. That's bad news. All right, where did the plate go? And like I say, imagine the possibilities. This is just one plate. I mean, oh my goodness, my mind is... I can't wait to do 
a whole bunch more with all the other cool tiny stencils. Oh, not enough paint. Sometimes, like I said, because I'm using a thin layer, right, I'm not pulling off very much paint. <clears throat> Maybe I'll just lightly see how that works. Okay, so same thing, I'm going to put this right on here, find my piece of jelly, deli paper, my goodness, jelly deli, I'm telling you, it's like tongue twisters central. So again, I'm just doing this because I have some wet paint on this particular pull. So I don't want to mix. Although craft paint does dry really fast, guys. Uh, lots of times, you know, I don't really have to hang things up like you see some people are doing because, I don't know, I just don't have too much of an issue with it not drying. Um, quick enough. Before I go on. All right. Ooh, we got some grungy bits here. This, this side's cool. So I think... That's a fun one. But the red... So something went wrong. Because the blue... The red isn't showing up through the blue. Very little. When I try to do that clean off print. So like I said, sometimes it doesn't work out right. I, I mean, you see a little bit of the red, but not so much. So anyways, let's uh, add a few. Oh, I still want to keep the plate out, sorry. So I'm going to ink up the plate, and this time I'm going to use stencils. I'm going to do some top layering and some stencils. Let's find the right ones. And then we will look at all the prints. Okay. Alright, so this time I'm still going to use some red. Yeah, Patty, that was Jean. I, I, I'm sure I saw Jean put deli paper on top of a wet paint. To, look, this is just all one big paint booger. I need to buy some more of that. So obviously that wasn't enough red paint to, you know, so I'll add a little bit of, this is uh, a, here, lizard, lizard, a lizard and crimson. A little bit of a Liquitex Basics Alizarin Crimson. Sorry for those of us who do not like lizards. Or Taco Bell. <laughs> Alright. So this time, what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be putting the... We want to, we want to uh, do some top stenciling. So I'm going to put the stencil right on top. And this time I'm going to put the paper. Now, because this is 110 pound cardstock, you really have to, you know, press in. The eye stencils is a good thickness of stencil. Uh, so you're not really fighting with the thickness when you're trying to, you know, push your paper through a stencil. These top layers, it's very easy. It's easier to do with jelly paper deli paper or you know copy paper because sometimes sometimes it's hard to get in but so there you go now we have something in the background got something on top for example what I'm trying to say about the deli paper is that oh let's use that white one where did it go that pink one see if we can get any more on it it, it easily sinks into the grooves of the stencil, your deli paper does, or if you're using, you know, a copy paper or a book paper or some such thing. So 
So here's a little, well, can't see. Not enough paint because I already pulled it that first time. All right. So when you're doing, like I like I said, lots of times, the first time I stenciled, I, I used the jelly plate. The first thing I did, put paint down, threw a stencil on, pulled a print, and I was like, uh, and it was all white in the background. And I said, I hate this. I don't like this jelly stuff, this jelly printing stuff. It was because, like, I didn't realize you had to create all these other backgrounds first. You know what I mean? Create all the backgrounds first, and then, you know, now while I'm creating backgrounds, if you have pages already in stages where you kind of need that top stenciling, then now you're, you're good to go. Like I say, but here, like I was saying, what I'm trying to say, so I'm making backgrounds at the same time as doing some final details. Oh yeah, that <laughs> Patty says. Patty says I think the only paper I haven't tried on my jelly plate is toilet paper. <laughs> Hi, Malou. Oh, so sorry to hear that. Yeah, that would be bad news. Um, you might get some interesting texture, but I can't see how that. You may not be able to get it off the off the plate <laughs> toilet paper. Oh my goodness. All right, so you can see I got a little bit of something something going on there. So that was just using a stencil. <clears throat> now, see I got, I'm just going to start building, I'm not going to clean my plate, I'm just going to pull some more stencils here, or some more prints. Let's look at some of these other prints to see what colors I want to put on top. That one's just so pretty. I don't think it needs anything else. Ooh, I like how this yellow is going. Let's add a cup. Let's add. Ooh, let's add some poppies and yellow on this one. Let's try that. All right, so I'm gonna leave this pink on there, and I'm gonna use some just cheap, cheap. Yeah, I'm gonna put the poppies on top of this with yellow. See what happens. Cheap craft paint. Brayer. All right, little yellow. So this time I want lots of paint because you know I want to be able to get a nice impression. I don't. I mean, when I say lots, I don't want it to be, you know, flooded or whatever. But I want lots of paint so that it'll transfer nicely onto this background. Oh, that's not the right one, but, okay, hold the fort. Where's my print plate gone? I'm not fast enough. Okay, I think I am going to add some yellow to this one, though. Hold on. First, I'll wipe off my brayer. Just a tiny, tiny bit. Add some yellow to this guy. Oh, that's fun. Okay, don't worry. I'm going to show other ones later. Okay, so stencil. You can see I've used this stencil quite a few times now. He almost needs a bath. All right, so this one already has some yellow on it. I'm just going to go right. I want to hang it off the page maybe off the bottom so it looks like, you know. There we go. Let's try that. Okay, everybody cross your fingers. Jean says, like the gambler says, you got to know when to hold them and not put any more layers of paint on. Yeah, there is a fine line sometimes. And this is, like I said, 110 pound cardstock. So I may not get a nice of an impression as if I was using a thinner, like even a 60 pound cardstock, if you know what I mean. All right, this looks like it's going to be good. Ta-da! Ooh. Very cool. I can see some of the pinks there. That is fun. All 
I got a whole bunch of, I got paint everywhere, my friends. Paint everywhere. I'm definitely going to have to rearrange my table so that my working space is bigger. But, but look, I have a whole bunch of goodness still over here, right? I've got a whole bunch of goodness. Let's pull it on here, maybe. And then I can do another cleanup print. Yeah, Barb's book, Normal, Barb Owen's book, Normal, doesn't live here anymore. I hear is extra good. I need to buy it for my mother, too. So when you get these prints, you know, because a lot of the paint was already removed, um, some of it doesn't come out as well. But look at the background from the stamp. Isn't that cool from the stamp we made in the background, that texture? That turned out cool. But look, we've got all this we can clean up now. It's yellow and red. Okay, my fellow jelly printing friends, expertise experts I need your expertise if I did black right now probably that layer of red isn't gonna isn't gonna show right I should probably pull this with white right I'm gonna do it with white anyways I don't think it'll come out nicely if I if I did with black I could be wrong but we're gonna pull do a cleanup print in white anyways Rare, rare. <clears throat> so as you can see, even when you're doing top layers, right, the whole top, the whole reason I'm inking up plates is to do these, you know, top stencils. But at the same time, you're making even more backgrounds. Patty says white or Titan buff. Oh, I got some major crusties on my brayer now. Now yeah, my brayer's got crusties. Yeah, I should have get cream. I need to buy a big uh, cream. I wonder if they sell this brand. Linda, Jean, this Dollarama stuff, do they have cream? I don't think so. I get crusty bits. Oh, well. So, again, these prints. And this is going to be the last one I'm going to show all of what we did tonight and then uh, we're gonna do a drawing for a giveaway for some of these prints maybe I'll even send the giveaway winner the plate I truly appreciate we had a good crowd tonight hopefully everybody enjoyed it I always have fun hanging out with you guys on a Saturday pulling off my brayer here <clears throat> finding a new piece of paper Yeah, Americana buttermilk. Yep, that's right. That's a good one. So again, when you're doing clean off prints, you really got to rub rub. <clears throat> I need a little sip of coffee. And like I said, what can you do? So many people ask, well, this one's like a frameable piece of art. I would want to fold this up into, into a book. <clears throat> but there's lots of ways to use your jelly plate. I mean, we did one last week too, but uh, I'm going to sew this one. This is going to be a little art journal. Well, Vicky, funny you should say that. Hey, Patty. The girls need a new retreat. All right. Ooh, how fun is this one? So you can see a little bit of the yellow. And, uh, you know, this, this was all, all this texture was from the plate we made. But the yellow, you can barely see. Can you see the flower there?
so you can barely see the flowers but because it's yellow it's hard to it's hard, it's really hard to see to be honest unless I mean I can see it I'm not sure if you guys can see it very well but anyways <clears throat> so like I say check it out my goodness I took that drink and now I'm gonna show so try uh, already I can see some of the paint going in here. But this is cheap. This is styrofoam, right? Try to carve some styrofoam using some of this, your, some of your stencil, favorite stencils. <clears throat> and then, again, you can use it either with or without the jelly plate. Yes, I use a jelly plate for most of the night. But um, at the beginning of the night, we did... I'm just getting all the stuff I did today, guys. At the beginning of the night, we did make prints lifting right off of the plate right off of the styrofoam plate that is and uh, all right so you don't have to have a jelly plate to try this rain wants to come to stamp camp with you where's stamp camp Sorry, I missed it. But we definitely, we, we need a retreat. Maybe one that Patty and I taught in together? PSP and PTP? Who would be interested? Okay. So, I'm going to show some of these. Again, our prints, you know, just by dipping in texture. So, I'm just going to quickly go through some of these things that we did. That was the last time, so we just have some faint prints down here. Oh, that's the place in Pennsylvania you were telling about. Oh, cool. That just wasn't on anything. So, see, I still have a lot that, that is the start of something that can have more layers either from the jelly plate or another option. I love this one. This one was fun. Just pushing those plates into the jelly print. Love that one. And then everyone, I love this. I don't know what I'm going to do with this. Night, Sharon. All right. It should be. Patty and I are going to work on that. Okay. So again, these are just the off stamps from stamping, you know, using this plate, using this carved plate on the jelly plate. Collage it in my, yeah, I'm going to have to make it a tip-in in, in my Midori. Exactly like, uh, I've used jelly, deli jelly prints before. This one right here is, uh, a deli, jelly printed deli paper and I just tipped it in this is at the front of that particular journal so I love doing that so we made a love that I mean the opportunities look at all these gorgeous prints I can't say other than maybe this one I cannot say I'm not happy with I'm happy with every other print <laughs> said Patty, the one that I don't like, the bird that got shot. <laughs> oh my goodness. So some of it already, you know, this one, some, some of these pages already had something on it. Like I didn't do that one tonight, for example. This is the first one we did. So this pink, this pink is literally putting paint directly onto this foam plate. Um... Oh, yes. Jean has an awesome idea. Take one of these and cut it into a circle. Cut it out from a circle. Oh, yes. And then we could do, then we could do the printing like Barb. Or one inch, oh my goodness, too many things going to go. But anyway, so the first, at the beginning of the recording, you'll see, this is where I put paint directly on a plate and stamped it down. So you don't even have to have a jelly plate. And then we just use the original stencil. Again, this is the Patty Tolly Parish stencil. It looks like this. One of my favorites called Pictographs, and it's from iStencils.com. 
PTP number 83, that one is. I love this. Look at this goodness. Like this one, this one needs some gesso. This one needs the pictograph stencil with, with white gesso or white paint right on top. Maybe some splots. I'm not sure. I love that one. This one was the last one we did, didn't go out so well, but we can we can still add layers to this good one. I love how that one turned out too. So as you can see, and I'm sure there might have been more, I don't know, there's papers absolutely everywhere around here. But I think I think that's it. So in two hours, in two hours, I carved this, which took you know, it was quick, but it takes a little bit, you know, a little bit long because literally you're, you you got to go in every little piece and nook and cranny. But, I mean, look at how much goodness I made in two hours, including the plate, including the plate. So, again, just another way you can use your stencils. So, tonight, I, yeah, I might actually... I'm wide awake, but I need to eat something, so I'm going to have to go because I didn't have dinner. Um, okay, so I have a little giveaway for some of those prints. I am going to use random.org again, so I want you to enter one number in between. When I type in go into the chat, I'll give a couple minutes. We already lost some viewers here. If I make sure everybody's logged in, I didn't do roll call today, but I really appreciate everybody coming. If you're a first timer, I hope you enjoy it. Hey, Kiki, maybe Silver Wolf, Blue Jean, I note in the back, Sandy. Good to see everybody. Just quick, quick look down. Okay, one number only. When I say go, the first person that was closest without going over. There's, it says there's 65 viewers at this particular time. I haven't wrote go yet. So between 1 and 75, 1 and 75, I'm putting on random.org. I'll type in go because you guys can... Uh... Oh, that's wonderful, Patty. That makes me happy. 1 and 75. Right. While you guys are typing, I'm going to random.org so that... Now people are tweeting me. Random.org. Hold on, still doing it. Oh, you guys are entering numbers anyways. One in seventy-five. Okay, I got the number. Oh. I saw that somebody that has the number. I don't know if it's the first person or not. That's too funny. Too funny how the universe works. Yeah, one number. I'll give a more couple minutes. <clears throat> I can't wait. I'm telling you. I can't wait to make one of these plates with that. I want to call it crop circles. I know, Patty, it's not crop circles. It's going to hurt me. this one. Oh, it's going to make an awesome plate. Like you could put it, you could carve it just like this, right? And then I can put other, carve other, etch other designs into the other side, like, ooh, like this particular stencil. I can do that on the outside. This one's called Exclusive. Exclusive, that's an interesting name too. Okay, everybody stop. Hold the fort. Yeah, no, it's okay if you put a number twice. We Okay, so the number, I saw it go by. I saw Colleen had it. I don't know if there was anybody that was closer, but it is 22. I saw Eileen, or excuse me, Colleen had that number, but... I don't know if somebody chose it before that as well. <laughs> Miko, 
puts in 22. I think it's Miko, you got you got, you got all the tricks. <laughs> oh boy, my brain is my brain. My brain is exploding. That is for sure. It was Colleen. Woohoo! All right. Now we gotta think of goodies to send Colleen. I got more mail going out on Monday. So I guess I, I'll probably send, I gotta send this to Colleen. Okay, so what did we do? We did uh, just a right. <clears throat> oh, I'll just stick it on here and then she'll remember. Now don't frame this, Colleen. I want you to use it. <laughs> Colleen will frame the plate. <laughs> All right, I truly appreciate everybody coming. Lots of happy mail going out into the world next next week. Yep, yeah, that's for sure. Wonderful, Colleen. Yeah, we're for, we're trying to forfeit our memberships to the BAM Club. That's for sure. Just gonna glue it onto the journal page. No, 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 it, Colleen. She'll frame it. <laughs> Which is fine. You just, just like you can you can treasure it, and it is fine. Oh boy. Thanks guys. I for sure will see you on Wednesday. I'm really debating on time because five o'clock and seven o'clock are just not working for me. Um, unfortunately, because the dogs get too worked up and then it wakes Simon up and then it's, it's just bad news. If Simon wakes up early because he works night shift, it's, it just, so I need to think of a different time. I'm working on it. I, I'd appreciate suggestions. Um, I don't know. I don't know, but but five and seven aren't working. So either it has to be, you know, one o'clock in the afternoon, which Joyce and streams, uh, or maybe like Thursday morning, or I don't know. I don't know. But I'm glad everybody was here. Yeah, watch the recording. If do I have to go back to nine p.m. at night? I don't know. I have to think about it between now and then. But. I'll be back because my books, I have a little couple hauls, so you'll see me probably Tuesday morning or anyways, sometime on Tuesday or tomorrow depending, but usually I have to go pick up something at the mail. I don't, I live in the back of a house, so I don't think, usually they don't drop it off or anything. <clears throat> Yeah, exactly, Jean. So I, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, I've got things to think about. But, but you know, that's it has to be a good time for me, but it has to also work for everybody else around me, too, sometimes. So, And then I'm thinking, maybe twice a week is too much. Maybe I should go down to once a week, and even just Saturdays. I don't know. Yeah, I know she's at 10, yeah. Tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. So like I'm thinking morning, sometime in the in the morning or during the day to um I don't know. I have to think. And also in the morning there's way better lighting, but hopefully I can rem remedy that here shortly anyways, um, by a couple studio lights or something so that it's not changed up a little bit. Genie has been so my mouth. Yeah. All right, guys. We could chat all day. I could be here all night chatting, and I need to go eat something. It's quarter to midnight, and I haven't ate dinner at all. It's so, so terrible. But it was wonderful hanging out. Hope to see you around the nets tomorrow. Hopefully, somebody will stream. All right, guys. Much love. <laughs>